بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبلا هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون صدق الله مولانا العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'd like just to say a personal word for each of you. Uh, <clears throat> because in this age we live in, life is very difficult, but it always has been. Uh, there are things in this age that make it seem worse than others. But when we go back as far as the ancient Romans, we find they are saying things are much worse now than they were before. That our age is now something you cannot imagine anything more terrible. In fact, it is the situation of the human beings in every age, the enormous difficulty and hardship and struggle and disaster filled existence that is on this planet. So now it's very important for the fakir to find his strength in those moments when he finds himself alone. I'm not talking about loneliness. I'm talking about the sense of being alone, which comes on every, every adult person. Now, at that point, the, the, the dhikr of that moment, of that experience, is uh, from the first part of the Wirdisal, Allahu mai, Allah, Allah sees me. Allahu mai, Allahu nadirin, Allah, Allahu shahidin, Allah. Allah's, Allah sees me, Allah's witness to my acts. Allah is with me wherever I go. Now, once you recall that Allah sees you, then to put right what is inside yourself means you must find that mode of action, of action, which would be pleasing to Allah. If Allah sees you, and He sees you in a distress, I'm not talking about physical distress or all things from outside, but inside yourself, a distress, then that moment, it's a point where you must take command of yourself. Mm -hmm. And to command with this dhikr, Allah sees me. And what is pleasing to Allah is khidma, is service. It is by doing something for others mm -hmm. that this darkness that can gather in the heart of a man can be lifted. Mm -hmm. He can't lift it by a distraction. He can only lift it by service. So he must find that service which is right in front of him because where there's a sickness, there's the cure. Where's that distress of aloneness, not loneliness because that is another sickness, but this sense of being alone in the world and not knowing where or what is to become of you. At that moment, you must turn outwards with this dhikr of Allah, my Allah sees me, 
and do those acts which are pleasing to him. And in doing the acts which are pleasing to Allah, they will come towards you from the creation that which is your cure. <laughs> that it will come to you. Because the, in, in going out for another, you have put forward your own cure. So that the, the world will bring it back to you. The heart, the heart is kalb. <coughs> kalb is kalaba, in movement. The heart is always in movement. And the heart is a magnet. And whatever it wants, it draws it to it. Even if it's haram, whatever the heart wants, it is drawn towards it. So once that man goes out with good action, there will come to him that event or that person or that situation which will be his cure for that condition. So this is the, this is the pivotal point in which what was a difficult time or a difficult moment becomes an opening, what we call fatiha, becomes an opening to the, the true nature of existence. And the true nature of existence is that Allah is the provider. So therefore, whatever is missing will be provided for. The, the Sufis uh, of the East are very fond of the story of the, the man who, who complained of his provision and said, we have nothing to eat, we are starving. And he was told, look, when you were a child in the, in the womb, in your mother's womb, the blood of your mother fed you while you were in the womb and kept you alive. And then when you came out and you were born and you cried because you were hungry, the milk rose in your mother's breast and she fed you with, with the milk. Now, do you think that Allah has fed you in the womb, has fed you at the breast of your mother. He, now that you've gone on to solids, do you think suddenly <laughs> it's all going to stop? Do you understand? It's not, it's not the nature of existence is that you will be provided for. My grandfather used to say, live old horse and you'll get corn. But that's the, the profound truth about the nature of existence. So you are provided for. Once you're provided for, what you take on this gift of Allah's provision from the provider, then all this inner distress begins to disappear because what you have is a kind of certainty, a first stage of certainty, which will later become a much more profound and strongly based certainty. But you have a simple existential living certainty that all is well. However outward things may appear, the truth is if your own spirit is in a good state, knowing that all is well, it is because you have said, Allahu mai. <coughs> Allah is with me wherever I go. Allah is the witness of my acts. And this is called the weird sahab And this is the, the path to wisdom. And this is something you can all take with you in your journey through life. Do not expect anything but surprises. And do not expect anything but miracles because you will have both.